Brought to you by Gopher Pro Video Solutions, professional YouTube business video. Game one of the ACH semifinals saw the Dundas Real McCoys visit the Whitby Dunlops at the Des Newman Complex at Iroquois Park in Whitby. Dundas opens the scoring midway through the first on a shorthanded goal by Daryl Smith. Dunlops would tie it up six minutes later on a nice three-way play by Whitby's top line, Jason McCauley, Darren Doherty, and Peter McKellar. A couple of minutes later, the Dunnies would take the lead thanks to Kyle Musselman who redirects Adam Van Dam's pass from behind the net. It's 2-1 to one for Whitby. Less than a minute later though, the real McCoys would tie it up as Cam Watson walks right in and finds the top corner over the shoulder of Dunlop netminder Dane Davis. Six minutes into the second period sees Dundas on a power play and take the lead on this shot from the point that's tipped in front by Captain Justin Davis. Midway through the period, Daryl Smith nets his second of the night on this wraparound play. It's 4-2 for the Real McCoys. That would also bring in Anthony Kinlan for the Dunlops as Dane Davis is done for the night allowing four goals on 13 shots. Late in the period, Nick Smith would steal the puck from Darren Doherty in the high slot that allows Mike Berry to crash the net and shovel in the McCoys' fifth goal of the night. Garrett Winder would get a cross-checking penalty on the play, giving Dundas a three-goal lead and a carryover power play in the third period. It would take them less than a minute to capitalize on that power play on this blast from Daryl Smith for his third goal of the night, giving Dundas a commanding four-goal lead. Five minutes later, Murray Free would take matters into his own hands as he gets his own rebound on this wraparound attempt and fires it past Dundas goalie Jeff Mound. The Dunlops continue to press hard as Shane Terry streaks down the right side and blasts this one past Mound. It's now 6-4 for the Real McCoys with more than half a period to go. A few minutes later, the Dunlops find themselves on a power play of their own and manage to get the puck over to Peter McKellar, who has no trouble one-timing it to give the Dunnies within striking distance. But alas, time would run out and the Real McCoys would take the victory of Game 1 in the best of seven series. For ticket information or upcoming games, visit WhitbyDunlops.com. Allen Cup Hockey, the highest level of men's hockey outside of Canada.